Now that we have an understanding of an AVL tree, remember this idea that it is self-balancing. We're going to take that idea of self-balancing and completely scrap it. What? We just learned about it, right? No. So it's not that it's a bad thing. In fact, that's what we want with an AVL tree. However, what I'm going to show you is another type of tree that still uses rotations. In fact, I'll say through rotations. I'm going to show you another type of tree known as a splay tree. Now the entire difference between an AVL tree and a splay tree is we would say that an AVL tree is self-balancing self balancing through rotations. I would rotate to the left, to the right, or I would do a trinode restructuring uh, double rotation, if you will, uh, to continue making sure that my tree stayed in balance the entire time. Instead, the splay tree is going to work off of what we would classify as a move to root uh, heuristic. Heuristic's just a big fancy word for uh, implementation. The entire idea is now whatever I do, if I happen to do a lookup, if I happen to do an insert, or if I happen to do a remove, and this one we'll spend some a lot of time with, if I happen to do any of these nodes, whenever I access a node, whenever I capital I, access a node, move it to the root. You can already tell my handwriting gets a little sloppy there. I said two twice. Move it to the root. And the idea, of the, the entire principle behind the splay tree in this case is that more popular items, more popular items get accessed faster. So while it's not going to be balanced by any means, our more popular items, in theory, should always be somewhere closer to the very top of the tree. That way, I, since they're more popular, if I want to access them the second time, I happen to have that in uh, approach. So let's say, for example, we do a very simple insert for just a second. Insert 50. Now. As you can see from my blank canvas, I don't have any nodes. So, uh, well, that same rule applies. It's going to become my new root. Ah ha ha. But what if I came in and did, and I'll, I'll use the same color there. What if I came in and then did something like an insert 25? Well, in a normary bi normar normal binary search tree, I'd come in and I'd still make that 25 over here to the left but just like I said once I do any type of access of a node in this case that 25 I want to move it to the root so in that case I have to move it to the root now how I do this is actually the interesting thing so we were talking about with an AVL tree the idea of rotation I'm going to do the exact same types of rotation as before now these get broken down into what we would call a zig, a zig, zig, and a zig, zag. 